my god, our damage is so much higher now. wall and point A. I don't know if I can build mid-combat like that. Actually, I guess I've technically left combat, so it does let me build a little one. Oh, there's something over there. Alright, they're dead. Don't hit those walls! Hitting this. Was it just you? Oh, jeez.
Please stun. I'm using you as a shield. The dust mite behind me keeps snaring me. Oh my god! Holy crap! Oh my gosh, that collectively took me like 10 plus hours. Gee. I think done it! Though the situation <sighs> did seem rather precarious for a moment there. Wonderful work though. You would make an excellent lab assistant. When you're a little older, of course. Now, we just need <sighs> to grab the embiggening cell before the orcs return. How do you like that? Safe, yes, that's a good idea. Director Schmechter. Director Schmechter. Wait, what do you mean, how do you like that, Director Schmechter? Is that just a, like a you know in your face director? Because Director Schmechter is the bad guy. He's the guy who shrunk us like against our will and all that stuff. So I guess that was just kind of like a in your face kind of thing. Now my dagger is actually quite low durability. We're gonna need to go home at some point and upgrade it to repair it effectively. Shield is fine. Most of the times I blocked with it were parries, so those don't. Excellent. Cell integrity appears nominal. You might be the best assistant I've ever had, but don't tell Berg of that. He's just looking for an excuse to use that grilling function. Head back to the spacer. Anyway, back to the spacer. Maybe we can get you home before dinner. Before dinner. Uh, chat, we have been in the yard for... What is it? I, I think like 45 days. <laughs> I think our parents have already called the police. <laughs> okay, waypoint there. A rough. That's roughly where my zip line is. Yeah, I know where this. I know. I, I know where the spacer is. But I'm gonna swing by home just because I don't know if something unexpected is going to happen. Save before spacer. Okay, I will. I will. I also want to repair the knife, just in case. Dude, dude, just I'm so paranoid. It's like, watch that, what we just went through wasn't even the f final fight. <laughs> There's like another one at the space. It's like the same exact thing, but hold on for twice as long. Mant 2.0. Yeah, he does a 27 hit combo. Any any one of them that's not parried kills you. Did you pick up all the loot back there? I picked up the loot from the biggest bugs that hadn't rotted. I didn't really need any of it, but all of the the large bugs, uh, like the, the things bigger than ants that it hadn't rotted, I picked those up. The, the new ant has wings and a shock. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was the tutorial? Yeah, that was the tutorial. Oh my god. Dude, imagine if I had died to like that last beetle. <laughs> I would have been so upset. I would have been so upset. Alright, so for those who didn't, weren't here at the beginning, the, um... At the very beginning of the game, we very quickly found a device. It's in the center of those three tripods. That's meant to make you larger again. However, it broke when we tried to use it. And we've been basically trying to fix it, like, the whole game. So we're basically kind of going back to the very beginning. Okay, upgrade station. Alright, there's an upgrade on that, just to basically repair it. We... let's see, water... water filtration tablets needed. Could use... Food. Just pretend it's beef jerky. Save. I will. I'm almost to the spacer. Hang on. Aww. He's like, oh, murders him. Oh. My hotkey is different now because the knife is a, uh, technically a different Can't item there. Anytime you upgrade an item, the uh, thing changes. Um, what I think there's a big what is a bombardier doing here? Dude, would you stun already? Good lord. A, a remote-controlled spider. That's the first time we've seen one of those. Okay, where does this thing go? Oh, do we? Okay, that's a friendly ladybug. That's fine. All right, what up? Well, here we are, back where it all began. Well, we'd better get you back to your families. I suspect they are worried sick about you. What about your family? Perhaps they are worried about me still, but I know that I put them through a lot. I only hope that they know how much I love them. But there's no sense in being so glum. I haven't quite yet reached the end of my road, though there may not be much track left to lay. Now look, all this sad talk has me mixing Good my night, metaphors. Good night, dragon. Don't worry about me. Whatever will be, will be. Sorry, Doc, I really need to go home. I understand. Thank you for everything that you've done. I'll never forget it. Phone. Virgo here. After our call, would you be interested in taking a short survey on the quality of my service today? <laughs> For the last time, Virgo, no. I do not want any more of these confounded follow up surveys. The answer is adequate. Always adequate. Adequate? Now, listen to me. This is your manager speaking. We're about to fire up the spacer. I need you to keep an eye on the raw science convergence coupling. The last thing we need is an overload spike. Which might have been what happened at the beginning. Wait, you are leaving? Have you been dissatisfied with my service? Don't worry. I'll come back for you when things calm down. In the oh, is are we going to make Wendell Tully big too? A while. <laughs> Affirmative, Dr. Tully. Oh. Oh. But I need you to keep an eye on things down here while I'm gone. Regional science manager Burgle. Oh, promotion. Regional science manager? But Dr. Tully, does that mean we will be franchising? Burgle, this is a big responsibility <laughs> in recognition of your work ethic and commitment to outstanding customer service. 
Congratulations, Manager Burgle. That's regional Manager Burgle. Thank you very much. <laughs> He's already got a big head. Indeed it is. This is it, my young friend. When you get home, do me a favor. Don't grow up too fast, will you? Thanks for everything, Dr. Tully. Oh, for the last time. I think I'm getting hit. Push dot dot dot. Are you ready to get out of here? I'm ready. <clears throat> okay then, for science. And now we gotta go home and explain to our parents where we've been the last 41 days. And why our pants smell terrible. And with a flash, that was the end of the tiny adventure of a lifetime. At least that's what the local papers called it. It's hard to believe how much has happened since then. Pete, Max, Willow, and Hoops tried to tell everyone what had happened. But without evidence, no one believed- We have evidence? Come look at this yard. No. Instead, people heralded Ominent's amazing new invention. A shrinking machine. And everyone learned the name of the one behind it all. Director Dalton Schmechter. It didn't end there. The world found out about me. About the raisining. And I had to disappear in <laughs> way. Which meant all I could do was watch as Schmechter took credit for everything that I had achieved. The kids tried to get back to their normal lives as best they could. Burgle has been keeping an eye on them in my stead. Joining their science and robotics club. They made him the mascot, but they didn't tell him that part. I can't help thinking that there was more I could have done with my time in the yard. That said, I have my wife, my family, <laughs> and I can continue my research. Such that it is. He's still ahead in a jar. The most of what little time that I have remaining. Bad ending. Is there multiple endings? I didn't even. Wait, is there multiple endings, Michaelis? Or are you just saying that? There is. Oh god! Whoa! Barely over seventy, chat. That's passing. We killed one thousand seventy-two creatures. Eight hundred fifty-three perfect blocks. Deaths twelve. I promise you, I died more than twelve times. Find a cure for Wendell's raisining. Thanks for playing. <laughs> okay, so I gotta reload and find a kid. What am I supposed to do? I thought I did everything it asked of me. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're, we're gonna... We're gonna look at this again. Would you like a direct answer? Yes. Where, where am I supposed to go? It, it, like, where, where do I need to go? Point me in a direction. The castle. Castle Moldorg? The toy castle here? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I've got a zip line that goes almost there from the baseball. Ant spotted. I didn't know there were multiple endings. Should I be ready for a fight? Yes. Oh my god. All right, let me find some food. Wait. Oh, yeah, I got it. Okay. Oh my god. I didn't know there was multiple endings. Even ships complaining. Chat. Very rare. Upside. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, gosh. Ah. Everything looks good from here. Very rare upside down ship. <laughs> ah. Alright, that's a handful of healing stuff. Is the canteen full? Yeah, the canteen's full also. Okay. Ah. Way more shoes for grounded than maybe God. All right, this line goes near this Castle Moldor. Really terrifying. Looks like it's not. Shut up, Vanaboro. Uh. All right. I think he's telling me he's done. <laughs> Mike, do you want any tips about the fight? Uh... How about a timetable? How much remaining time are we looking at? Like, I'm wondering if I should stay up late for this, or schedule another session. Not much additional time, okay. All right, sure. Uh, I mean, I'll uh, honestly, you know what the first thing I need to know is I gotta figure out how to get into the castle. I don't know. I briefly tried one time, couldn't figure it out, and moved on. You need a trampoline or ramps to get into the castle. Are you serious? That would be so much carrying stuff. Bug rubber? I don't... How do you make bug rubber? Four bug rubber, three flower petals. Oh, shoot, hi. Uh, okay. I don't know if I have the bug rubber recipe or not. Let me see. By the I don't think you can. Bug rubber? Hold on. Grounded bug rubber. Acid glands and sap. How do I get the recipe? Search bar? 
Um... Oh, I do have the recipe. Okay. Sap and acid glands. All right. Uh, hold on. When did I save it before I rode the zip line? Does it live in? I don't know. I, I think this was just like a minute or two ago. Okay, so cr making ramps. I would have to carry planks, and it would take many, many uh, trips. Making the trampoline, it looks like all the components can be carried in your backpack. So we could try making the trampoline and then carrying the parts over here and then slamming it down and trying to get in the... I've never made the trampoline in this game. I just never felt a need for it until this moment. So I actually uh, not even 100% on using it. Bring enough for two if you can. Okay. Wendell, you better not knock me off of this thing. So eight sprigs, six flower... Oh, shoot. Six flower petals. Those are obtained right over there. I'll have to get those and then walk home. Am I falling? I, uh, I was falling. Oh, gosh. Uh, I wonder if Wendell knocked me off. There's the flowers. One, two, three, four. Five and six. I think I needed six. Seven, eight. Okay. I've got enough flower petals. Since I'm now at the tree, I can use the tree zip line to go home, get the other materials, and then take the other zip line back to the castle. What does boot beep again? Uh, it means that there's something of interest near me. And then the little icon appears, uh, like right up here, showing you what it is. Um, like if it's just raw science, if it's another outpost, etc. Okay, so... Where is it? Bounce web. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we need bug rubber and... so. Four bug rubber, eight sprigs. And we don't know which box they're in. 